Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if the game is not launching, then please follow the steps shown in this video. The first step is to simply restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to change country or region to United Kingdom and also regional format to English United Kingdom. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to time and language, language and region. Now over here, go to country or region and you can over here, you can select United Kingdom over here. And then regional format also. You can set it to English United Kingdom and then relaunch the game. You have to relaunch the game and then check if that does not work. Restart your computer once and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even change to Canada also. For many users, even the Canada has worked. So you can you can even try Canada over here for regional format also. You can try Canada and then check. English Canada, you can find English Canada over here. Yeah, so try English United Kingdom or Canada and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Disable all network adapter except the Wi-Fi and the LAN, the Ethernet one. So you can make a right click with the start, uh, open Windows settings, go to network and internet and then go to advanced network settings. Now over here, this is my Wi-Fi. Keep it enabled. Ethernet, keep it enabled. If you have any other... Apart from Bluetooth, if you have any any kind of like if you have uh, virtual network adapters over there, you can disable all kinds of virtual ne network adapter. I will just keep Wi-Fi, Ethernet and Bluetooth enabled. Rest you can disable all kind of virtual network adapter. If you have Hyper-V, VPN virtual network adapters, not VPN tap adapter, VMware, Open VM, V Ethernet, you can disable it from here. And you can do the same thing in the device manager also. You can right click on the start menu, go to device manager, expand network adapters. Keep your Bluetooth, in your Wi-Fi and your Ethernet enabled. The rest, if you have any kind of a virtual network adapter over here, make a right click and then you can disable this. This is just an example. I don't have any virtual network adapter. So if you have these adapters, you can disable it. You can even uninstall these applications. Now, if you have any kind of virtual uh, application, virtual uh, application, you can uninstall these application, relaunch the game, and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to is for Steam users, run Ubisoft Connect along with the Steam. So, if you don't have Ubisoft Connect, when you when you launch the game, it should start automatically. But if it is not opening then you can go to ubisoft connect website and then you can download ubisoft connect from from the ubisoft connect website download ubisoft connect over here and then you can launch ubisoft connect in the background launch it and then you can launch the game once you have this ubisoft connect running also you can uninstall the older version and you can install the latest version you can download ubisoft connect install the latest version from the Unis ubisoft website and then open Ubisoft Connect in the background and then you can launch the game and then check. This has also worked for many players. Next step is to update Ubisoft Connect. Like if when you install the latest version of Ubisoft Connect from Ubisoft website, that is already up to date. Now, next step is to remove or disable mods. So if you're using any mods, you can remove it, disable it and then relaunch the game. This has also worked. Next step is to close VPN or VPN-like application or services uh, from your computer. So if you have any kind of VPN uh, application running, you can close it, end the service in the task manager. So if you have this tail scale or any kind of uh, application which acts like VPN, you can you can close it, relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even uninstall it, restart your computer and then check. Next step is to rename or delete the engine file. Now engine INI file for this go to file explorer documents open this game folder and then over here open the config folder here you can see engine dot and when you delete it or when you rename it all the saved settings will be lost so make a right click you can rename it or you can delete it so i will just rename it and then check if that does not work go back rename the config folder the complete folder all the saved settings will be lost when you rename it and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. 
and then check still not working install visual c++ file now for this you can go to the game installation folder uh, sorry for this go to the microsoft website the link is provided in the video, video description and it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so download it and run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart you can view it and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to windows n version user like if you have windows 10 n edition or windows 11 n edition you can install media feature pack now for this open windows settings go to system scroll down go to optional features over here and view feature click on yes to allow type in media feature pack over here now i don't have windows 11 uh, like n edition i have windows 11 home edition so i don't see media feature pack over here so when you type in media feature pack if you see media feature pack put a check over in the box and then install it and after the installation is done restart your computer and then you can launch the game also type in turn windows feature on or off over here in windows search box and then click on it and over here make sure media feature pack is checked if this is unchecked put a check over here install it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to start game input service now for this type in services in windows search box click on services find game input service over here here you can see game input service make sure this is running you can set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click on game input and then click on restart and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working now if you have if there are two microsoft game input service disable the older one not disable actually uninstall the older one you can disable it in the uh, services and you can uninstall the older one so for this you can open windows settings go to apps and then go to install apps and then you can type in search for game input over here here you can see microsoft game input now i have only one and this is the newest one in 2025 now if you have two in microsoft game input then you can uninstall the older one not the latest one i have only one so i will not uninstall it if you have two you can uninstall the older one and then restart your computer and then launch the game disable steam input now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to controller tab and then you can disable this steam input and then you can relaunch the game and then check if that does not work you can put it to default and then follow the next step next step is to rename support folder create a backup first if you face any issue you can put the original folder back now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage browse local files and then go to the game installation folder here you can see support folder you can copy this folder you can create a backup you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can make a right click on support and then you can rename this and once you rename it now you can relaunch the game and then check if you face any problem you can put the original folder back to the uh, installation location you can put it back if you face any problem and you can replace the other one now still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click in the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working remove this follow the next step now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then open bin folder win64 and over here you can see the game exe file make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security go to windows settings privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow 
add an allowed app, browse all apps, go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. In my case, it is in C drive. Open the game folder, bin folder, Win64, select this gaming exe file, click on open. Once the game is added, type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse. Go to the game installation folder once again and then select the game exe file. And then click on open click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check similarly if you have any third-party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find on this page, you will see the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver, click on View and then click on Download. Now, once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Click on Yes to allow, click on OK, and then click on Agree and Continue. Select Custom option, put a check on the box which says Perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on Next. And after the clean installation, restart it in there. And after the system restart, you can check. Similarly, if you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Again, select your graphic card over here. Make sure that you select your graphic card. I don't have AMD graphic. You can select your graphic card. This is just an example. Select your operating system. Whichever is the latest, you can download it, install it, restart your computer, and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. This is important. So type in graphic settings in Windows search box. Click on graphic settings over here. Click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder. And again, you have to open the game folder. Select the game exe file. And then click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game and then select high performance. You will see your graphic card. Now launch the game. Nvidia card users make a right click on the desktop show more option. Go to Nvidia control panel. Now once it is open and now you can go to manage 3D settings, program settings over here and then click on add and then go to the game installation folder once again. If you see the game, you can select the game from here or you can click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now over here select high performance NVIDIA processor over here. Hit apply at the bottom right and then relaunch the game. Desktop users, make sure that you connect your HDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. And then you can check. You can even make a right click on the start menu, go to device manager. And then you can, if your, if your computer has a dual graphic card, one is Intel, other is NVIDIA or maybe this is my integrated. If you have dual graphic card, you can make a right click on integrated graphic card and then you can disable device and then relaunch the game and then check. Once you're done playing the game, you can make a right click, enable the device once again. Still not working. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall, you can reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game was installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game was already installed to C drive, Try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.